Elon Musk always has a trick up his sleeve to surprise us, and this time, he's brought something completely out of the ordinary. Tesla, the company that has already revolutionized the market with its electric cars, might be on the brink of an even bigger leap. Musk recently revealed the possibility of developing ammonia-powered engines, an innovation that promises to shake the automotive industry. The idea might seem a bit eccentric at first glance, but as with everything Musk is involved in, there is a logic behind this bet. Ammonia, as a hydrogen compound, has a significantly higher energy density than hydrogen itself, making it an intriguing candidate to replace fossil fuels. Imagine a world where ammonia-powered cars travel greater distances than traditional gasoline or diesel vehicles, but without the polluting emissions that harm the environment. Musk's proposal is bold, but if successful, it could forever change the way we view transportation. Looking at the current landscape, we see that the automotive industry has heavily invested in electric batteries, with Tesla leading the charge. But while everyone is focused on improving lithium-ion batteries, Musk seems to be looking beyond. He has always been known for challenging the status quo, and the idea of using ammonia as a fuel is another example of his futuristic vision. If this technology really takes off, we could witness a paradigm shift that goes far beyond the simple evolutions we have seen so far. Now, consider the implications of this innovation. Automotive companies that were chasing Tesla in the electric vehicle race might find themselves at a dead end if ammonia becomes the new standard. Brands like Ford, GM, and even luxury names like Porsche and BMW, which have invested billions in electric technology, might need to reconsider their strategies. Tesla, already ahead, could be about to leave competitors even further behind. However, we cannot ignore the challenges that come with this innovation. One major concern is the infrastructure required to support ammonia-powered vehicles. Today, we are used to seeing electric charging stations everywhere, but imagine the logistics involved in creating a new refueling system for ammonia. This requires massive investments and an adaptation process that could take years to materialize. Still, Musk has a history of overcoming challenges, so it's not hard to imagine that he already has a plan in mind. Producing ammonia is also not a simple process. It requires a considerable amount of energy, and many wonder if we would truly be reducing our carbon footprint or just shifting the problem elsewhere. However, there are studies indicating that producing ammonia from renewable sources is feasible, which could give this fuel a green status. If production becomes more efficient, ammonia could establish itself as a sustainable alternative to fossil fuels. What really stands out is the absence of the harmful emissions traditionally associated with fossil fuels. Ammonia, being a hydrogen and nitrogen compound, can be burned cleanly, releasing only water and nitrogen as byproducts. This is a significant advantage especially at a time when the world is increasingly concerned with reducing carbon footprints. The possibility of a fuel that does not contribute to global warming is one of the factors making ammonia so promising. The range that ammonia could provide is a major differentiator, especially compared to electric vehicles, which, despite advances, still face limitations regarding battery capacity. Imagine the freedom of driving hundreds of miles without needing to plan stops for recharging. And best of all, knowing that the environmental impact is minimal. For many drivers, this could be a huge draw, particularly in regions where electric charging infrastructure is still scarce. Additionally, ammonia can be stored and transported relatively easily, facilitating its large-scale distribution. Unlike hydrogen, which requires extremely complex and expensive storage conditions, ammonia can be kept in pressurized tanks at moderate temperatures. This makes the logistics of refueling ammonia-powered vehicles much more viable and cost-effective, a crucial aspect for mass adoption of this technology. Of course, for ammonia to become a viable reality, there are still challenges to overcome. 
One of the biggest is producing this compound sustainably. Today, much of the ammonia is produced from natural gas, which still involves carbon emissions. However, there are already research and projects underway to produce green ammonia using renewable sources like solar or wind energy. If these methods become economically viable, ammonia could establish itself as one of the most sustainable fuels available. Another interesting point is that ammonia, in addition to being used directly as fuel, can also serve as an efficient way to store hydrogen. This is because ammonia can be easily decomposed into hydrogen and nitrogen, allowing it to be used as a kind of chemical battery. This opens up a range of possibilities for using this technology, not just in vehicles, but also in other sectors requiring clean and efficient energy. It's clear that the transition to a world where ammonia is widely used as fuel will not be immediate. The infrastructure needed to produce, distribute, and refuel ammonia-powered vehicles still needs to be developed. But looking at recent technological advances and the pace of innovation, it's not hard to imagine that in the near future, this vision could become a reality. Automotive and energy companies are already eyeing this possibility, and investments in research in this area are likely to grow. However, as with any new technology, public acceptance will be a crucial factor. People need to be convinced that ammonia is safe, efficient, and truly advantageous compared to the alternatives they already know. This means companies will need to invest not only in technology, but also in education and marketing to explain the benefits of this new fuel. If this communication is successful, ammonia could more easily carve out its niche in the market. Now that we know all this, how would these engines work? Ammonia-powered engines might seem like a futuristic concept, but the idea itself is quite solid. Essentially, these engines would operate similarly to internal combustion engines that we know, but with some important adaptations to handle the unique properties of ammonia. Instead of gasoline or diesel, the engine would use ammonia as fuel, which would be injected into the cylinders and mixed with air. The mixture would then be compressed, and instead of a traditional spark, a compression ignition system, like in diesel engines, or a more powerful spark might be needed. The combustion of ammonia generates heat, and this heat is what drives the engine's pistons, just like in a traditional engine. The big advantage is that unlike fossil fuels, ammonia combustion does not emit carbon dioxide. Instead, the main byproducts are nitrogen and water, which are much less harmful to the environment. However, one challenge is that ammonia is not as flammable as gasoline, meaning the engine would require higher compression or a pretreatment system to ensure efficient combustion. Additionally, ammonia has a lower combustion temperature which could result in lower power output compared to traditional engines. To compensate, engineers could adjust the engine's compression ratio or use turbocharging systems to enhance efficiency. Another option would be to mix ammonia with other fuels like hydrogen to improve combustion and energy efficiency. Such fine tuning would be essential to ensure that ammonia powered engines could compete performance wise with conventional engines. The storage of ammonia would also be a crucial aspect of how these engines function. Ammonia can be stored in pressurized tanks at relatively moderate temperatures, which facilitates its use in vehicles. These tanks would need to be designed to ensure that the ammonia remains in a liquid state until it is injected into the engine. Additionally, robust safety systems would be necessary to handle the fact that ammonia, while not flammable, is toxic and must be handled with care. One of the most promising possibilities for ammonia-powered engines is the use of fuel cells. In this case, ammonia would be decomposed into hydrogen and nitrogen through a process called cracking. The resulting hydrogen could then be used in a fuel cell to generate electricity, which would power an electric motor. This approach combines the benefits of ammonia as a dense form of energy storage with the efficiency of fuel cells, 
which have the potential to be more efficient than internal combustion engines. To facilitate ignition and improve efficiency, ammonia engines could use a small amount of hydrogen or another easily ignitable fuel as a starter. This starter fuel would help initiate the combustion of ammonia, especially under low temperature conditions. Once started, the combustion of ammonia could be sustained with the heat generated by the engine itself. This technique is already explored in some engines that use alternative fuels and could be a practical solution for the specific challenges of ammonia. Another interesting aspect is adapting exhaust systems to handle the byproducts of ammonia combustion. Although ammonia itself does not produce CO2, it can generate nitrogen oxides, NOx, which are pollutants. To minimize this impact, it would be necessary to incorporate exhaust gas treatment systems, such as selective catalytic reduction systems, which convert NOx into pure nitrogen and water. These systems are already used in diesel engines and could be adapted to work in ammonia engines, ensuring that emissions are reduced to a minimum. One of the practical challenges engineers would face is developing corrosion-resistant materials for engine components. Ammonia, especially when combined with water, can be quite corrosive, meaning that traditional materials used in engines might not be suitable. Using special alloys or protective coatings would be essential to ensure the longevity and reliability of ammonia-powered engines, especially under adverse operating conditions. The idea of replacing part of the current electric vehicle infrastructure with one based on ammonia raises some important questions. Transitioning to an alternative fuel like ammonia certainly brings environmental benefits and could prove to be a more viable option in terms of energy storage. However, it also jeopardizes the massive investments already made in charging stations and battery technology. Companies, governments, and consumers have invested heavily in building and expanding the charging network for electric vehicles, which is still in the growth and standardization phase. If ammonia does become a viable alternative, we might see a shift in the focus of technological innovations and investments. The question that arises is, how to handle this shift without wasting the resources and efforts already directed towards electric infrastructure? The adoption of ammonia would require a new distribution chain, different refueling stations, and possibly new vehicle models. This scenario creates a dilemma as companies would need to decide between continuing to improve battery technology and electric infrastructure or starting to invest in a new and still uncertain technology. Creating an infrastructure for ammonia refueling is a significant challenge, especially because ammonia, despite being an excellent energy carrier, is toxic and requires specific handling precautions. The charging stations that currently serve electric vehicles could not simply be converted to operate with ammonia. It would be necessary to build a completely new infrastructure or, at the very least, radically adapt the existing one. This would involve new costs and, of course, new regulations, which could be a hindrance to the rapid development of this technology. On the other hand, there is the issue of batteries. The automotive industry has heavily invested in research and development of more efficient, safe, and affordable batteries, aiming to increase the range of electric vehicles and reduce charging times. Introducing an alternative fuel like ammonia could divert attention from these efforts, putting battery innovations on the back burner. It is possible that instead of replacement, we might see a coexistence of technologies where ammonia is used in specific sectors while batteries continue to dominate the passenger vehicle market. Furthermore, ammonia could challenge the business model of energy companies that currently benefit from the expansion of charging stations for electric vehicles. Companies that have invested in fast charging networks might see a decrease in demand if ammonia becomes a competitive option. This scenario would force companies to reconsider their strategies and possibly invest in ammonia refueling infrastructure. However, this would not be a simple process and the transition could take many years. Another point to consider is the impact of this transition on consumers. Today, 
Those who purchase electric vehicles are investing not only in a car, but also in a whole support infrastructure, ranging from home charging stations to public networks. If ammonia becomes a viable option, it could create market uncertainty, causing consumers to hesitate in adopting new technologies until there is more clarity about the future of vehicle refueling. This uncertainty could slow down the growth of the electric vehicle market, impeding the shift towards more sustainable transportation. We must also consider environmental and sustainability issues. The production of ammonia, while efficient, still relies on energy-intensive industrial processes. Unless this energy comes from renewable sources, the shift to ammonia may not be as green as it seems at first glance. Additionally, if the current electric vehicle infrastructure is abandoned or underutilized, it would represent a significant waste of resources and efforts invested in a cleaner future. Therefore, any transition to ammonia would need to be carefully planned to minimize negative impacts. Public policy issues also come into play. Governments worldwide have been encouraging the adoption of electric vehicles through subsidies, tax exemptions, and investments in infrastructure. If ammonia becomes a viable option, policies will need to adapt to support this new technology without compromising the advancements already made in vehicle electrification. This will require a balanced approach that fosters innovation without undermining existing investments. Ultimately, the possibility of ammonia challenging the current electric vehicle infrastructure highlights that technology is in constant evolution. What seems like the definitive solution today may be surpassed by new ideas and discoveries. The key to addressing these challenges will be flexibility and a willingness to innovate, adapting to new realities while keeping long-term goals such as sustainability and energy efficiency in focus. If well-planned, the transition to ammonia could complement electrification efforts, creating a more diverse and sustainable future for transportation. The introduction of ammonia-powered engines would certainly shake up the current automotive industry, especially among manufacturers of internal combustion and electric engines. Consider the impact on companies like Ford, General Motors, and Toyota, which have invested decades in gasoline and diesel engines. These engines, with their mechanical complexity and reliance on fossil fuels, could quickly become obsolete compared to a cleaner and more efficient alternative like ammonia. These companies would need to reassess their portfolios and possibly even reinvent their businesses to stay competitive. Electric motor manufacturers like Tesla would also need to adapt. While Tesla has led the electric vehicle revolution, the introduction of ammonia-powered engines could divide the market. Tesla, which heavily invests in lithium batteries and charging infrastructure, would face the challenge of diversifying its product line to include ammonia vehicles or risk losing market share to new competitors. The company would need to decide quickly whether to bet on this new technology or continue refining its electric motors. Another example is Cummins, known for its diesel engines, which are widely used in commercial vehicles and trucks. For such companies, the shift to ammonia represents both a threat and an opportunity. Cummins could face decreased demand for its diesel engines, but it could also position itself as a pioneer in producing ammonia engines for heavy-duty vehicles. However, adaptation would not be easy, as ammonia engines require new designs and technologies, moving away from traditional combustion systems. Suppliers of automotive parts would also be affected. Companies that produce components specific to combustion engines, such as spark plugs, exhaust systems, and fuel injectors, might see a drastic reduction in demand. This would force a reorganization across the supply chain. Many of these companies would need to innovate or diversify their products to survive in a market where ammonia and electric engines become predominant. Conversely, Companies focused on clean technologies could find new opportunities in this scenario. Industries specializing in exhaust systems and catalysts, which handle emission reductions from combustion engines, would also need to adapt. With ammonia, greenhouse gas emissions would be drastically reduced, 
making many of the pollution control systems currently in use obsolete. Companies like Johnson Matthey, which manufacture automotive catalysts, might need to shift their focus to other emission control technologies or even venture into developing solutions for ammonia production and storage. For automakers, the shift to ammonia engines would require re-evaluating their production lines. Factories would need to be retooled to build engines and vehicles designed to use ammonia as fuel. This would involve new investments in research and development, as well as adapting assembly lines. Companies specializing in combustion engines might find it challenging to keep up with this change. While new manufacturers focusing exclusively on ammonia engines could emerge and compete on equal footing with established giants. Moreover, the shift to ammonia engines could impact the oil and gas companies. If ammonia becomes a popular fuel, the demand for oil and its derivatives could decrease, negatively affecting giants like ExxonMobil and Shell. These energy behemoths might see a reduction in demand for their products and would need to consider diversifying their operations to include ammonia production or investing in other renewable energy sources to maintain market relevance. Industrial and maritime engine manufacturers would also be affected by the introduction of ammonia engines. Sectors dependent on diesel engines, such as maritime transport and power generation in remote areas, could adopt ammonia as a cleaner alternative. This would require redesigning engines used in these sectors and changing operational and maintenance practices. Companies producing industrial engines would need to adapt their products to work with ammonia, which could either be a growth opportunity or a barrier, depending on how quickly these companies can innovate. On the other hand, the shift to ammonia could boost sectors related to the production, storage, and transportation of this fuel. New infrastructures would be necessary to handle ammonia, creating opportunities for companies specializing in fuel storage and distribution technology. Companies like Air Products, which already work with hydrogen, could expand their business to include ammonia, leveraging their existing capabilities and broadening their offerings to meet new demand. The introduction of ammonia engines would have a transformative impact across the automotive industry and beyond. It would force companies in all sectors, from automakers to part suppliers, to rethink their strategies and adapt to an evolving market. While some players might see this change as a threat, others could capitalize on the new opportunities arising. The key to success in such a dynamic scenario will be the ability to innovate and adapt quickly, with a strong focus on sustainability and cutting-edge technology. However, transitioning to ammonia as a vehicle fuel is not without its complexities. While Elon Musk envisions an innovative future, there are criticisms and challenges that must be addressed. The reality is that the path to ammonia is still fraught with obstacles. Let's explore the critical points and difficulties this technology will face. Firstly, the infrastructure required to refuel vehicles with ammonia is nearly non-existent. Electric charging stations are already common in many regions, but the same cannot be said for ammonia. It's like having a cutting-edge vehicle without fueling stations available. A recent study highlighted that ammonia refueling facilities are scarce worldwide, presenting a significant challenge to compete with the convenience of electric charging. Another important issue is safety, which is a central concern for critics. Ammonia is a chemical that requires rigorous handling precautions. In the event of a leak, the consequences could be severe for both the environment and human health. It's akin to trading the simplicity of charging a cell phone for a chemical experiment. The risks are much higher. Additionally, the production process for ammonia is highly energy intensive. Ammonia does not appear out of nowhere. It needs to be manufactured, which requires a significant amount of energy. Stanford University studies show that large-scale ammonia production could considerably increase energy consumption. So, are we truly reducing our carbon footprint or just shifting the problem to another area? Another question that arises is whether ammonia is genuinely the best option for the future of transportation. While it has great potential, 
The development of this technology is still in its early stages. The lack of clear regulations, defined standards, and practical experience with ammonia as a fuel are obstacles that cannot be ignored. The path to widespread adoption is long and uncertain. As with any new technology, there is a mix of enthusiasm and uncertainties. But we are talking about Elon Musk, a visionary who has already transformed industries with electric vehicles, underground tunnels, and space travel. Ammonia might just be another challenge he is willing to tackle and overcome. Only time will tell if this bet will pay off, but it is certainly a topic that sparks curiosity. For Musk, ammonia represents more than just an alternative fuel. He sees it as a chance to create truly carbon-neutral vehicles, a concept with significant appeal in an increasingly sustainability-focused world. It's like he's showing us a future where we can move freely without harming the environment. However, this vision also raises questions that need to be answered. It's not just blind optimism. Researchers at the University of Cambridge point out that ammonia, especially if produced from renewable sources, could be a truly sustainable fuel solution. Green ammonia production could be a game changer, giving this fuel a new significance in the global clean energy landscape. Musk also believes that ammonia could have a global impact, particularly in developing countries. He suggests that instead of being a technology limited to major cities, ammonia could be adopted in regions with limited electrical infrastructure. This could make transportation more accessible and sustainable for communities around the world, further expanding the reach of this innovation. Nevertheless, the journey toward ammonia adoption is not without its risks. While the carbon footprint may be lower, critics highlight the potential environmental and health hazards associated with ammonia. Studies indicate that exposure to high concentrations of ammonia can be harmful underscoring the need for rigorous safety measures. Another issue to consider is noise. Electric vehicles are known for their quiet operation, but ammonia-powered engines might not share this characteristic. These engines generate noise during combustion, which could be a step back in terms of acoustic comfort. Are we ready to trade the tranquility of electric vehicles for the sound of ammonia engines? The development of a global ammonia infrastructure promises a significant transformation in the energy sector, akin to the evolution we've seen with natural gas and oil. Imagine a world where ammonia not only fuels vehicles, but also plays a crucial role across various industries. Achieving this would require robust planning and investment across the entire production and distribution chain. Ammonia already widely used as a fertilizer, could become a revolutionary fuel if supported by a suitable infrastructure. Firstly, large-scale ammonia production would require a substantial expansion of existing plants. Currently, ammonia production facilities are primarily designed for the agricultural industry. To meet energy demands, these facilities would need to be expanded and adapted to incorporate cleaner, more efficient technologies. This could involve significant investments in research and development to optimize processes and reduce emissions associated with production. When it comes to distribution, the situation becomes even more complex. Like natural gas and oil, ammonia would require a dedicated transport network. New pipelines, tankers, and storage systems would be needed to handle the unique characteristics of ammonia. Creating this network not only demands large investments, but also a re-evaluation of safety regulations, given that ammonia is a chemical with specific risks. The infrastructure for ammonia would also face logistical and technical challenges. For instance, ammonia storage requires special conditions to prevent leaks and ensure safety. Storage facilities would need to be designed to handle ammonia's pressure and corrosiveness, adding an extra layer of complexity to planning. Experience with natural gas handling could be helpful, but ammonia presents unique characteristics that must be addressed. Furthermore, establishing an ammonia infrastructure would have a direct impact on the global energy sector. 
Just as the discovery and development of natural gas and oil networks shaped the global economy, ammonia could create new dynamics. Countries with access to renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind, could use these sources to produce ammonia sustainably, potentially shifting the balance of power in the energy market. It's also interesting to observe how the development of ammonia infrastructure could influence energy and environmental policies. Governments and regulatory bodies would need to update and create new policies to manage the safe handling and transport of ammonia. This would include setting safety standards, transport regulations, and incentives for technology development. Integrating ammonia as an energy resource would require a collaborative approach between the public and private sectors. Compared to the development of natural gas and oil, ammonia may have both advantages and disadvantages. While natural gas and oil have established infrastructure and a global distribution network, ammonia is starting from scratch. On the other hand, Ammonia offers a more sustainable alternative that could help reduce dependence on fossil fuels and lower carbon emissions, providing a significant environmental advantage. Moreover, the introduction of ammonia to the market could create opportunities for new companies and startups. With the growing demand for clean energy solutions, new businesses could emerge to fill market gaps, offering innovative technologies and storage solutions. This could stimulate the economy and foster a more competitive environment in the energy sector. The prospect of a global ammonia infrastructure also raises questions about cost and economic viability. While ammonia has the potential to be a sustainable energy solution, the initial cost of establishing an infrastructure comparable to that of oil and natural gas could be high. It's crucial to assess whether the environmental and energy benefits outweigh these costs and if the investments would be justifiable in the long term. When discussing ammonia as an energy solution, it is impossible to ignore other emerging technologies gaining prominence, such as green hydrogen and biofuels. Each of these alternatives has its own set of advantages and challenges and understanding these differences can help us envision how they might coexist or compete in the future. Let's start with green hydrogen, produced using electricity from renewable sources to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. The main appeal of green hydrogen is its potential to be a clean energy source with no carbon emissions during use. However, green hydrogen production is still costly and energy intensive. Additionally, the infrastructure needed to store and distribute hydrogen is complex and requires significant investment. Ammonia, on the other hand, offers an interesting alternative to green hydrogen. As mentioned earlier, ammonia has a higher energy density than hydrogen, which could translate into greater range for vehicles. Furthermore, ammonia can be stored and transported more easily than hydrogen which needs to be stored under high pressure or at low temperatures. However, ammonia is not without its challenges. It requires special handling due to its toxicity and needs a dedicated infrastructure for its management and distribution. Biofuels such as ethanol and biodiesel are another important option in the debate over sustainable energy sources. These fuels are produced from biomass, like plants and organic waste. The great advantage of biofuels is that they use renewable resources and can reduce dependence on fossil fuels. However, the production of biofuels may compete with food production and also involves issues of land use and emissions associated with growing raw materials. When comparing ammonia with biofuels, a fundamental difference is how each technology adapts to different energy needs. Ammonia could be a good candidate for industrial applications and heavy transport, where energy density is crucial. Biofuels, on the other hand, might be more suitable for light vehicles and sectors that already have infrastructure for their use, such as the agricultural sector. The coexistence of these technologies is a realistic prospect. Each has its own advantages and limitations, and the choice of which to use may depend on the specific context. For example, in regions with abundant renewable resources, 
green hydrogen might be the best option. While in areas with strong agricultural production, biofuels might be more viable. Ammonia, with its unique energy profile, could excel in specific niches where other options are not as efficient. The future of energy could very well be a mosaic of various technologies working together. Instead of a single solution dominating, it's possible that we will use a combination of ammonia, green hydrogen, and biofuels to meet different needs and contexts. This could lead to a more diversified and resilient energy system capable of handling a variety of challenges. Furthermore, competition between these technologies could stimulate innovation. If there is healthy rivalry among different types of clean energy, this could lead to rapid advances and improvements in efficiency and cost reduction. The race to make each technology more competitive could result in benefits for all, accelerating the transition to a more sustainable energy future. Integrating different energy sources could also help solve storage and distribution issues. For instance, ammonia could be used as a storage medium for green hydrogen, while biofuels could complement energy needs in areas where ammonia and hydrogen are not practical. This multifaceted approach could provide more flexible and adaptable solutions to the specific needs of different regions and sectors. Considering the introduction of ammonia as a fuel for vehicles, we are facing a potential transformation in the energy sector. Ammonia, with its high energy density and ease of storage and transport, presents an attractive alternative to green hydrogen and biofuels. However, its use is not without significant challenges, including the need for specific infrastructure and concerns about safety and environmental impact. Comparing ammonia with other emerging technologies is essential to understand its place in the future energy landscape. Green hydrogen, produced from renewable electricity, offers a clean solution but faces high costs and logistical challenges. Biofuels, while using renewable resources, may compete with food production and bring land use issues. Each of these technologies has its advantages and limitations, making a diverse approach essential. The possibility of coexistence and competition between ammonia, green hydrogen, and biofuels highlights the need for a multifaceted energy system. Instead of a single solution dominating, integrating these technologies could lead to a more sustainable and resilient future. Healthy competition could stimulate innovations and improvements, while collaboration could solve specific storage and distribution problems. Moreover, creating a global infrastructure for ammonia could transform the energy sector similarly to the development of natural gas and oil networks. Although this requires significant initial investment, the potential for an efficient and accessible distribution network could open new pathways for sustainable mobility and energy on a global scale. Adapting current infrastructure to new technologies will be a challenge, but also an opportunity for significant advancements. Ultimately, the future of energy may be a mosaic of various emerging technologies working together to meet the planet's diverse needs. Ammonia, green hydrogen, and biofuels each have roles to play in this scenario, and the key will be to find the best way to integrate and utilize each efficiently and sustainably. The path forward is filled with challenges, but also promising opportunities for innovation and progress in the energy sector. In summary, Musk's proposal to adopt ammonia as a fuel goes beyond a mere desire to innovate in the automotive industry. With his experience at SpaceX, he is aware of ammonia's potential as a fuel not just for land vehicles, but also for rockets. This broader vision suggests that ammonia could play a crucial role both on our planet and in future space explorations. As we await further developments in this area, it's interesting to reflect on the possibilities and challenges that ammonia brings. Are we on the brink of a mobility revolution, or are we merely trading one set of problems for another? The answers will come with time, but the debate is already underway, and it's a topic that will certainly continue to generate heated discussions.